Are you curious about Lexapro and its multiple uses? In this video, we will delve into the extensive applications of Lexapro, its benefits, potential side effects, recommended dosage, and possible risks. Usual uses of Lexapro Lexapro, a commonly prescribed medication, is primarily used to treat depression and anxiety disorders. However, its benefits extend beyond these conditions. It is also an effective treatment for obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, panic disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. By influencing certain chemicals in the brain, Lexapro helps restore the balance and alleviate symptoms associated with these conditions. Lexapro's versatility in treating various mental health disorders is one of its key advantages. It targets the underlying chemical imbalances in the brain that contribute to these conditions, providing relief for those who suffer from them. Furthermore, Lexapro is well tolerated by many patients, making it an accessible option for those seeking help with their mental health. However, it is important to note that Lexapro is not a cure-all solution. While it may be effective for some individuals, it may not work as well for others. It is crucial to work closely with your healthcare provider to determine the most suitable treatment plan for your specific needs. Advantages of using Lexapro Lexapro offers several advantages for individuals dealing with mental health conditions. One of the primary benefits is its effectiveness in reducing the symptoms of depression and anxiety. Studies have shown that Lexapro can significantly improve mood, decrease feelings of sadness or worry, and enhance overall well-being. Another advantage of Lexapro is its relatively low risk of causing weight gain. Unlike some other antidepressant medications, Lexapro is less likely to lead to weight gain or metabolic changes. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals who are already concerned about their weight or have a history of weight-related issues. Additionally, Lexapro is known for its fast-acting properties. Many patients report experiencing noticeable improvements in their symptoms within a few weeks of starting treatment. This can provide much-needed relief to individuals suffering from debilitating mental health conditions, allowing them to regain control of their lives. While Lexapro offers significant advantages, it is important to weigh these benefits against potential risks and side effects. Not everyone will experience the same results, and it is essential to have realistic expectations and open communication with your healthcare provider throughout the treatment process. Potential Adverse Effects of Lexapro Like any medication, Lexapro can have potential adverse effects. While most individuals tolerate Lexapro well, some may experience certain side effects. These can include nausea, drowsiness, insomnia, or sexual dysfunction. It is important to note that not everyone will experience these side effects, and they may vary in severity from person to person. Nausea is a common side effect of Lexapro, especially during the initial stages of treatment. This can often be managed by taking the medication with food or adjusting the dosage. Drowsiness and insomnia may also occur, although they tend to be less common. If these side effects become bothersome, your healthcare provider may recommend adjusting the timing of your dosage or exploring alternative treatment options. Sexual dysfunction is another potential side effect of Lexapro. This can manifest as a decrease in libido, difficulty achieving orgasm, or erectile dysfunction. If you experience any sexual side effects while taking Lexapro, it is important to discuss them with your healthcare provider. They may be able to suggest strategies to mitigate these effects or explore alternative medications if necessary. It is crucial to remember that not everyone will experience these side effects, and for many individuals, the benefits of Lexapro outweigh the potential risks. It is important to maintain open communication with your healthcare provider throughout your treatment journey to ensure that any side effects are properly addressed. Dosage Recommendations for Lexapro The recommended dosage of Lexapro can vary depending on the individual's condition and response to the medication. Starting with a low dose and gradually increasing it over time is typical. This allows the healthcare provider to monitor the patient's response and adjust the dosage accordingly. For depression and generalized anxiety disorder, the typical starting dose of Lexapro is 10 mg mg once a day. This can be increased to a maximum daily dose of 20 mg if necessary. However, individual responses to the medication may differ, and the healthcare provider will determine the most suitable dosage based on the patient's specific needs. For panic disorder, the starting dose is usually 5 mg once a day, with a maximum daily dose of 20 mg. The healthcare provider may adjust the dosage based on the patient's response to treatment. Similarly, for obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, the starting dose is typically 10 mg once a day, with a maximum daily dose of 20 mg. 
It is important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions carefully when taking Lexapro. They will provide specific guidelines tailored to your needs and monitor your progress throughout the treatment process. Do not adjust your dosage or stop taking Lexapro without consulting your healthcare provider, as this can have adverse effects on your mental health. Precautions and Hazards of Using Lexapro While Lexapro can provide relief for many individuals, it is essential to be aware of potential hazards and precautions. Lexapro should not be taken by individuals who are allergic to escitalopram, the active ingredient in the medication, or who have had a previous adverse reaction to it. It is important to discuss any known allergies or sensitivities with your healthcare provider before starting Lexapro. Additionally, Lexapro may interact with certain medications, including other antidepressants, antipsychotics, and migraine medications. It is crucial to inform your healthcare provider about any medications or supplements you are currently taking to ensure there are no potential drug interactions. Drug interactions can affect the effectiveness of Lexapro or increase the risk of side effects. Individuals with certain medical conditions may also need to exercise caution when taking Lexapro. These conditions include liver or kidney disease, epilepsy, bipolar disorder, and a history of bleeding disorders. It is important to provide your healthcare provider with a comprehensive medical history to ensure Lexapro is safe and appropriate for you. Additionally, Lexapro should not be taken by pregnant individuals unless the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks. It is important to discuss the risks and benefits with your healthcare provider if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant while taking Lexapro. The medication may also pass into breast milk, so it is important to consult with your healthcare provider if you are breastfeeding. Alternatives to Lexapro While Lexapro is a commonly prescribed medication, it may not be suitable or effective for everyone. If Lexapro is not the right choice for you, there are alternative medications available that may be better suited to your needs. Your healthcare provider can discuss these options with you and help determine the most appropriate alternative. Some alternative medications for depression and anxiety include selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors (SSRIs) such as Prozac or Zoloft, serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors (SNRIs) such as Cymbalta or Effexor, or benzodiazepines such as Xanax or Ativan. Each medication has its own set of advantages and potential side effects, and your healthcare provider can guide you in making an informed decision. In addition to medication, therapy and lifestyle changes can also be effective alternatives or complementary treatments for mental health conditions. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, counseling, and stress management techniques can provide valuable support in managing symptoms and improving overall well-being. How to Talk to Your Doctor About Lexapro if you are considering Lexapro as a treatment option, it is important to have an open and honest conversation with your healthcare provider. Here are some steps to help guide your discussion. Research. Educate yourself about Lexapro and its potential benefits and risks. This will help you ask informed questions and engage in a meaningful discussion with your healthcare provider. Prepare questions. Write down any specific questions or concerns you have about Lexapro. This will ensure that you cover all important points during your conversation. Be honest about your symptoms. Describe your symptoms and how they are affecting your daily life. This will help your healthcare provider assess whether Lexapro is an appropriate treatment option for you. Discuss previous treatments. Share any previous treatment methods you have tried, including medications, therapy, or lifestyle changes. This will give your healthcare provider a comprehensive understanding of your treatment history and guide their decision-making process. Express your concerns. If you have any concerns about potential side effects or risks, voice them during your conversation. Your healthcare provider can address these concerns and provide you with the necessary information to make an informed decision. Collaborate on a treatment plan. Work together with your healthcare provider to develop a treatment plan that suits your needs. This may include a combination of medication, therapy, and lifestyle changes. Make sure you understand the recommended dosage, potential side effects, and the expected timeline for improvement. Follow-up appointments. Schedule follow-up appointments to monitor your progress and discuss any adjustments that may be needed. Regular communication with your healthcare provider is essential to ensure the treatment is effective and to address any concerns that may arise. Frequently asked questions about Lexapro. Is Lexapro addictive? No, Lexapro is not considered addictive. It does not produce the same type of physical dependence as substances like opioids or benzodiazepines. However, it is important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions and not abruptly stop taking Lexapro without consulting them. How long does it take for Lexapro to start working? 
most individuals start to experience improvements in their symptoms within a few weeks of starting Lexapro. However, it may take up to 4-6 weeks to reach the full therapeutic effect. It is important to be patient and continue taking the medication as prescribed. Can Lexapro be taken with other medications? Lexapro may interact with certain medications, including other antidepressants, antipsychotics, and migraine medications. It is crucial to inform your healthcare provider about any medications or supplements you are taking to ensure there are no potential drug interactions. Your healthcare provider will determine if Lexapro is safe to take alongside other medications. Can Lexapro be used in children and adolescents? Lexapro is approved for use in individuals aged 12 and older. However, the dosage and treatment plan may differ for pediatric patients. It is important to consult with a healthcare provider experienced in treating children and adolescents to determine the most appropriate course of treatment. Conclusion Lexapro is a versatile medication that has proven effective in treating a range of mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety disorders, OCD, panic disorder, and PTSD. Its benefits extend beyond symptom relief, offering advantages such as minimal weight gain and fast-acting properties. However, it is essential to be aware of potential side effects, dosage recommendations, and hazards associated with Lexapro. Open communication with your healthcare provider is key to ensuring the best treatment plan for your specific needs. Remember, Lexapro may not be suitable for everyone, and there are alternative options available. Consult with your healthcare provider to determine the most appropriate treatment approach for you.